probably heard the old saying, you got to see it to believe it. But we sent the now's Brianna Harper to Gravity Hill in northern Kentucky to find out what to find out if what you see is actually what you feel. If you've taken a drive through DeVue Park in Covington, you may have come across it. I don't think I've ever done it, actually. I've never done it. I just hear people talk about it. She's talking about Gravity Hill. When we first moved here, I thought it was really strange and that cars were coasting very slowly past the house. It's all part of a strange phenomenon where people believe there's anti-gravity in this area and they travel from all across the country to experience it. Probably the most unusual was a woman who had just gone through cancer treatments and she kind of liked these strange and obscure things so she found Gravity Hill on Facebook and it was on her bucket list. So I figured I'd try it out for myself with the help of some experts. Let's really test it out to make sure this works. So yeah, the car's in neutral. And then you'll notice the car slowly start to roll. Slightly moving forward here when it looks like we're going up a hill. Confusing, right? How is it possible to roll up a hill? Well, actually, it's not. According yeah, so to Eli White, experimental psychologist at NKU, he says it's all an optical illusion. Our perceptual system is very good, but for certain instances like this, when you have a false horizon, and information over here that is influencing the grade of this hill. He says you have to consider factors like not being able to see the horizon paired with this sloping embankment and the cement wall that towers beside the hill. This is exactly the reason why scientists use measuring tools. That's right. We got a second opinion from a physics professor. You can't trust your senses. They fool you so easily. In this case, I think uh, it's a question of what artists call the vanishing point. Take, for example, these railroad tracks. We know they are two parallel lines, but in the distance, our mind makes us think they meet. And back out at Gravity Hill, the illusions continue. Visually, it looks like we are going up a hill right now, mm -hmm. but... Um, That's not necessarily the case. Right. <laughs> but the reality isn't stopping people from continuing to test gravity for themselves. It's just a strange phenomenon, I guess. Brianna Harper, The Now, Cincinnati.